Hey guys, so today we're going to be working on a Christmas card design. I already went ahead and sketched it out digitally, and then I printed the blue lines out onto just regular cartridge or printer paper. If you're interested in a tutorial on how to do this step, head on over to natosoup.blogspot.com and search for blue lines in the search bar. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put a border on this page. So I've got my clear ruler. and a mechanical pencil and I'm just going to go all the way around like you do and this is an easy one because I don't need to slap down a perspective grid for this so that's going to help save me a lot of time last year I showed you guys step by step as part of my watercolor basic series how to paint last year's christmas card design so if you're interested in seeing how that is done you can check out my watercolor playlist here on this channel so we've got our border drawn the next thing we need to do is we need to tighten up these sketched blue lines And this year's card design, which I'm going to send out to my wonderful patrons on Patreon, because they are the reason this channel is possible. Well, they and Joseph Coco. Um, I'm going to send the finished design out to my wonderful patrons as thanks for all their support this year. So. If you enjoy this channel, if it's been helpful or useful to you, you might want to head on over to patreon.com slash natosoup and see what all, all the goodies that I send them as part of early access. So right now, I'm just kind of tightening up blocking in Kara's figure swinging off of a ball ornament and I'm doing that with a non photo blue pencil and you guys can find a link to where you can get your own in the description below and I'm using a very soft moo eraser to catch any mistakes. And this was a design that my patrons voted for. It was the winner out of three. And it features Kara swinging on an ornament and Naomi batting, I mean, Pancake batting at her. And both of them are characters from my all ages webcomic, Seven Inch Kara which you guys can read at 7inchcara.com or at 7inchcara.tumblr.com and it's free to read. Okay, so we've got the basic figure sketched in. Now I'm going to move on down here to Pancake. And I was having a lot of trouble with this piece digitally. It just wasn't working for me. So hopefully, now that I've moved back to the traditional realm, I can make some more progress. He's a little quicker to sketch in than Kara since he has less detail on him. Zoom in really tight. And 
and start sketching in her teeny tiny face. And you would think this would work better digital because you can zoom in like one millionth percent. But sometimes having that much detail in such a small piece makes it unreadable um, or it makes it visually confusing. So I find that taking things back to traditional can be a good way to help combat that. You can always tighten it up digitally or in an, the next stage if you don't like what you did. My head's a little weird here. Now I'm going to tighten and sketch in her little hands. And this card is going to, uh, uh, the eventual card is going to be a five by seven Christmas card. Um, but I will probably end up working at like, probably eight by 10 this year. Last year, I think I worked too big and it was not really a beneficial Sketch in a little holly leaf. Try to make it a little more Christmassy than it is right now. If you start to lose some of your details, you can always start penciling. That'll help you refine things. And keep some of those details, at least help prevent them from getting kind of lost on your paper. All right, I think Kara herself is done and Pancake's done. So next thing I need to do is I want to sketch in the Christmas lights a little bit tighter. All right, and then we can start penciling in those tighter details. So I'll zoom in for you guys again, and we're using a really soft lead. We're using like a 4B in this mechanical pencil. You don't have to use mechanical pencil. You can use whatever you're comfortable with. I find that 4B is good because it goes over the blue lead really dark and it's easier for my scanner to pick it up and that in turn makes it easier for me to drop those blue lines when I am making my digital corrections. Unfortunately, I'm a little messier today than I'd like. My arthritis is kind of acting up. Fortunately, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to scan this and resize it digitally so I could make corrections at that point if I need to. And then I'm going to print it onto watercolor paper and pencil it again. So at any of those stages, I can make corrections. It's just easier for me if I can get things nice and right the first time. Especially since free time for me has become kind of a limited, a limited commodity.
So I've just drawn something that I am not sure if I want to cover her hands with the pine needle or if I want to rework the pine needle later. So I went ahead and I left it so that you can still see her hands and I'll decide that later on when I'm working on this digitally. And at this stage, you definitely don't have to draw every detail. In fact, it's kind of discouraged because if you kind of know where you're going with this and you don't need every detail in there, if you can do them later when you're penciling it on the final paper that you're going to use, then doing every single detail, unless you're showing a client, it's just kind of a misuse of your time. You can do it, and if you need the practice, I would recommend you do it, but if that's not the case, then save your time and leave things for later. Now at this stage, it might be helpful to also indicate lighting effects that you wouldn't necessarily sketch in the final piece. So I'm already indicating where I'm gonna want my glows to go. And then now that I've got Kara sketched in, I'll go ahead and draw in Pancake. Now, to be honest, I'm not really a big fan of how I've drawn Pancake in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish penciling him in, and then digitally I'll try redrawing him a few different ways and see if I can't hit on something I like better. So this is sort of a placeholder for what I eventually want him to look like. And as I go along, I also end up adding additional details, flushing things in. And uh, when I'm in the, the um, penciling on my watercolor paper stage, I will do even more of that. It's all about refining and fleshing out the piece. I'm just kind of loosely sketching in the boughs of the tree. And I just realized that I've been neglecting at least some of my shiny gold ornaments. Now, there's a few ways you can do this. You can pull out a compass and draw like a perfect circle. Or you can kind of freehand it, which is really up to you. Um, pulling out a compass will probably help you do a better job of drawing uniform circles. I find that it helps if I draw really loose circles first. And I'm actually changing where they go. To better suit the composition. And in the next phase, which will come after I scan this, when I'm correcting this digitally, 
which you guys will probably not see since recording on my Surface Pro is a bit of a pain. Um, I may end up changing where things go even in that stage. Or maybe not. It is Thanksgiving evening and I need to get my Christmas cards <laughs> drawn and painted so I can send them out. So maybe I will not um, do any more adjustments. Maybe I will decide that this is good enough. Although I really think I'm going to change how I drew Pancake because I'm really not excited by how I drew him. I think I can do a better job of it. You can also, if you're doing, say, circular ornaments, like I am here, you can also do those digitally using a circle tool that comes in most programs. All right, so I'm gonna indicate light. All right, so that is the rough illustration for my 2017 Christmas card. I hope this was helpful and useful and informative for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will try to check in with you guys at another stage, if not at the next stage, so you can see this progress and hopefully it will inspire your own work. So have a great day, guys. Bye.